Hey folks, Doc here. I haven't done a video for a while, so I thought I'd get to it and do something that might be interesting for various folks. I'll get away from the gardening for a while and uh, do something else. So this is a introduction review of the Cato Voyager um, Solar Crank K500. Bought this radio um, shortly after Irene hit, um, which probably wasn't the best time to buy it. Uh, but my other solar crank radio from what's the company called? I think Eton. Bought it from REI. Um, I bought that radio with the idea that I would just use it as a uh, an emergency radio and I put it on the shelf and never really did much with it. I knew that one of the LEDs on the display was burned out but that didn't bother me all that much. Um, turns out the uh, Dynamo solar power um, thing isn't working properly. You can crank it for two or three minutes and you'll get about um, three minutes of uh, battery life out of it if you're using the radio. If you're just using the clock uh, to sit there and, and turn digits for you then it will last I don't know, it's lasted a couple hours now but for some reason the radio just puts a tremendous drain on it. Um, and also there's another problem in that um, when I put fresh AAA batteries in um, it gets no power at all. Uh, so obviously something is wrong internally. I should have checked it all out and sent it back uh, when I initially saw that one of the LEDs wasn't working right. Uh, but it's been two years so I think I'm stuck with that. Um, anyway, this Voyager, I've given it a little run through and it seems to work pretty well. Um, not quite what they say. Um, when I bought it on Amazon, I believe I had read that it would give you 90, 60 to 90 minutes of operation on two minutes of cranking. Not quite true. It gives about 30 minutes of operation, but that's fine. Um, the really interesting things about this are um, the features. Um, you have seven weather bands, and let me see if I can do this. I'm behind the camera trying not to bump it. You have a telescoping antenna um, that does not um, move. You can't change the direction of it, which sometimes helps with FM reception. Um, so I'm a little disappointed in that. It's something I didn't think about when I bought it. Um, but they do have, let's see if I can get this for you. If you look at the computer screen, you will see they have a, pardon me, this is a really sticky uh, tripod I'm on. You can see there, that is a loop antenna that they sell for about $15. And it plugs this right here, plugs over this end of the antenna. And then this plugs into the coiled loop antenna in there. And then you can stretch it out and put it up in a tree limb or whatever you want to do with it. Um, that's a nice thing to have. So I may get that. Now they say that that's really only for shortwave reception. Now I suppose I need to talk to somebody before making the purchase. Um, I would dearly like to have FM reception improved on this. One of the things I've noticed is that stations my car radio can receive, this can't. So obviously there's a, an issue of um, reception quality here. Um, some of the fainter stations that I like to listen to I can't hear. Um, but having said that, this is really an emergency radio. It's more for news and for weather than it is for anything else. So let's go over some of the nice features. I already said we've got seven weather bands and... Uh, to the north of the center. However, surface 
You can hear I'm tuned into my particular one. Oh, let's just take a pause here. These are um, essentially German garden gnomes, I guess. Um, my friends from Germany came and they brought me this gift. These are things to put in the garden. Put a pole in them and stick them up in the garden. It's purely decorative. It doesn't chase critters away. Um, it's just decoration, and they're very nice, and I like them very much. Um, just thought I'd have them there being initial guardians of the radio. So anyway, back to this. There are several different ways to power this. Um, you have your crank built in over here, as you can see there, and uh, the crank works very nicely. It's quite easy. And not nearly as loud as the um, Eton radio was. The solar feature is on a panel in the back here. And the interesting thing about this, the thing that I really love, is that it's also a reading light. And uh, it's reasonably bright. In, uh, in the dark it would do quite well. You also have a flashlight, and uh, an SOS light, a red, a red blinky, and then you have your normal flashlight that probably annoys the camera a little bit. Um, you have your volume and tuning, and you have hopefully a rugged thing that won't break apart. Here you have band selection, so you have your weather. FM, AM, shortwave 1, shortwave 2, and here you have power selections off, and you have the solar dynamo, actually battery, I'm sorry, it's battery first, then solar and dynamo, and then you have the um, NOAA alert, and apparently this keeps it it's essentially off, but if there is a, a weather alert it will turn on and and uh, broadcast whatever emergency alert there is. So those are the features. Um, as you can tell, the I'm not very impressed with that antenna, but it works. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey. Let's enjoy outdoor activities for the entire family all weekend long. This is oh, grab the antenna. It works much better. Um, anyway. It picks things up. Got my country country western station there. Unfortunately, um, I can't get the other stations that I like. It does get NPR rather well. NPR seems to have uh, big booming signals no matter where you go. So I guess there's something to be said for public monies. Um, what else? Features that I don't like about it, um, apart from not pulling in signals easily, uh, which I th probably may be an antenna thing. Um, things I don't like. It's a bit cheaply made. Occasionally, when you pull up on the uh, on the solar panel, it catches and gives a loud snap, which is disconcerting. Um, the battery pack is back here. I would prefer it if this, I know this sounds nuts because you could probably lose it, but I would prefer it if, actually if the door came off. Um, other thing, this will recharge most of your cell phones and other little electronic gizmos. Um, and they send you this bag of stuff. And in that bag of stuff, are all these little wires and plugs. This fits into the radio, into the back end, and then all of these different plugs will fit into, into this. So for instance, let's see, I want to charge, I want to charge my telephone. All I would have to do is find the plug that fits my telephone and then and give it a go. So let's see if I can find the proper one. Maybe they don't even have it.
don't want to break my phone. Um, I do not see. Nope. They may not have. Nope. I don't have actually for my phone. I don't have a plug. Great. Anyway, um, you get the idea. You want to plug in your phone. There are all these different plugs here, and you plug it into this and the USB connector goes into the back of the radio you push the selector button to output and it will charge your your device you can also charge this um, battery pack in the radio um, with USB cable so you put the USB cable back here there's a little flap plug your USB in right there Put the selector, the selector is on input. There's a little selector switch there. And now you can plug this in to your computer and it will begin to charge. And you can see the light go on here. So, um, nice little setup. That's a good thing, um, particularly in um, your normal emergency situations that you could find yourself in easily during um, power outages and things like that where you you still have power to your um, laptop through the battery and you can recharge your laptop um, if you are set up to do so you can recharge your laptop uh, using your car battery or or other methods and uh, anyway so it is a good, good little item to have, and uh, kind of looking forward to that. What I would, what I would improve about the radio, though, there are a couple things. One, although its size is conveniently small, I would like to see it increased in size just a little bit, so you have a place to put all these stupid things because right now I'm keeping them in a baggie with the owner's manual which is really um, about as useful as well it just isn't useful let's just put it that way um, anything in the user's manual you could probably figure out on your own anyway um, but it would be nice to have a, a stowage area for that and the other thing, the antenna, I would put it on a swivel mount. I would also improve the uh, improve the antenna. It's it just doesn't seem to pull in the AM or um, FM stations all that well. It's nice to know that there's a, an external antenna for it that you can plug in or clip over the telescoping antenna. Uh, what I would say about that though is it would be far better to have um, a, an antenna jack on the back or on the side or somewhere where you could plug an antenna in for a much more secure fit. I have never used a uh, snap-on antenna. I have a feeling that in a wind or something it would cause significant motion and probably interference on the station. So those are my comments and I'm sticking to them. Um, I'm going to enjoy my sassafras tea, which the roots of which I dug a couple days ago. I am going to play with my radio a little bit more, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a great day, folks.